Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z is here. We are back with our original Ginger Batman cookie decoration character transformation video. Today we are going to transform this giant Ginger Batman cookie. Just kidding. This giant Ginger Batman cookie into the Santa Claus. Played by Tim Allen and we actually have four Santa Claus movies. We have first one, second one, uh, the Escape of Claus, like third one, and there's a new one that is coming out so soon. And we will need the following ingredients. White frosting, and I also pre-made this beige color frosting. Gel colors, fondant. I love using uh, these sparkle gels. I have black, gold, and uh, red colors. Baking tools, variety of candies for decoration and pictures of Santa Claus for inspiration. I also have this big Santa Claus and this little Santa Claus with the bell. I just love the sound of the bell. It brings so much cheer. Of course, we cannot forget about the tray, the giant gingerbread man cookie, and I even prepared marshmallows. And I'll show you why we need marshmallows. And like I say in all of our gingerbread videos, I like to use the mat under to keep my working space nice and clean since this activity can get quite sticky and messy. Okay, let's remove our gingerbread cookie first. Here it is. It came in one piece, which is a good thing because like I mentioned in our previous videos, sometimes cookie comes broken. This set also comes with jelly candies as well as red and white icings. Let's remove this plastic. And I think I am going to keep this cardboard on. So actually it's hard to see but I think his boots are dark brown even though most of the time Santa Claus's boots are black. So I am going to go ahead and make another color frosting to start coloring his boots. So I just made this color frosting and I actually used the white frosting and added cocoa powder. sure if you can tell but cocoa powder made this frosting so thick almost like milk chocolate consistency. Next I'm taking my baking tool and carefully spreading the frosting. Looks like this shoe needs more frosting and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> The more frosting, the better. Even though I told you I don't eat sugar. But I'm sure the majority will agree that the more frosting, the better. Next, I'm taking my red sparkle gel and I'm going to color this section, so his pants. Taking the same tool and spreading uh, this writing gel. And I'm not worried about this section because it's actually going to be covered by his coat. Same with this, we are going to be adding a white frosting on top. Okay, I'm going to put the cookie aside carefully and we will need to use fondant next. To make fondant nice and manageable to work with, you gotta make sure it's nice and soft and stretchy and warm. <laughs> okay, now I'm taking my little roller and I roll in the fondant. I'll try not to make it too thin because I want some definition, you know, because I'll be using this for the coat and I want coat to be layered on top of his pants. And it does not have to be perfectly rolled either because this is just the base and it will be colored with sparkle gel. Taking my little baking knife and approximately cutting out the shape of his Santa coat, removing all the excess of the fondant and saving it for later. We will need to use it for his hat and possibly beard, I'm not sure, but definitely for his hat. I just realized that this consistency and color also reminds me of Nutella. Carefully placing it on top. It looks and fits 
pretty good. So the, all the edges are pretty rough and you can see that but like I said I am using the fondant mostly for texture and definition so it will be completely painted uh, with our icing and frosting so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, red sparkle gel and color the whole coat with red first and after that we are going to be adding more colors and details. sure if you noticed but actually I paused the camera and added extra piece right here to his coat because it was too short and I want it to be a little longer so here it is <laughs> and now I'm taking this white fluffy frosting and adding a white fluffy trim detail and the same thing in the middle Next, let's go ahead and work on his belt. I'll be using the same Nutella color brown frosting for his belt. I uh, try to carefully press it down. I do not really want to spread it because uh, that sparkle gel is super gooey and we have a lot of layers right now and everything is still wet so by me trying to mix it a lot I may move the frosting and I need to keep it in one place. And since his belt has some designs, I am going to use these golden unicorn candies and try to somewhat copy the design on his belt. For the belt buckle, I'm actually going to use this red Christmas light. Next I'm taking this beige color frosting and coloring his face and Wait a minute, I'm not going to color his hands. I was going to say and color his hands, but I think he has gloves. So what happened is that I applied this frosting and actually I got a phone call. So I had to answer it and I was on the phone for uh, about half an hour and you see the frosting started to get dry it's not a good thing to wait uh, the best time to spread the frosting is right away I'm gonna use this little knife next and try to spread the frosting to make it nice and even and smooth on Santa Claus's face next I'm going to wait a little bit and while waiting I made another badge uh, with <laughs> Nutella I keep calling it Nutella because it looks just like Nutella color frosting and I'm going to use it to uh, color his gloves I'm gonna use this black sparkle gel and outline his gloves as well as his boots Let's add some more white fluff. Next, we will add his beard. This is when we will need to use marshmallows. I think it's such a cute idea to use marshmallows all over his beard. <laughs> So another thing what I want to add is these chocolate candies. They almost look like large pearls and um, okay I just totally spilled them all over the table. <laughs> but I do want to add them on Santa's sleeves right here. Same right there. Oh my goodness I just noticed that I messed up a little bit right here. Okay just fixed it. Okay add four more right here. Okay. Next, I'm using fondant to make his hat. Place it on top of the cookie. So I'm going to add his eyes. I'm just using a little bit of this black decorating gel just so I can glue the eyeballs in the middle. And his eyes are blue. Next, adding a little button nose and a wide brows. Well, we need to have some kind of definition here, so I'll try carefully add a black line just to imitate the lashes. Okay. 
adding a black dot in the center of the eye same on the other side next adding white sprinkle for the light reflection looks like we need a more frosting right here so carefully adding it and more frosting more marshmallows and I'm gonna make a little smile right here I'm not sure where to put his uh, mustache but at least I have his smile <laughs> Actually, for his mustache, I think I'm gonna use white snowflakes. I don't know why, but I feel like it's gonna look a little different and unique. No, not bad. <laughs> Alright, I'm taking my red sparkle gel again and coloring his hat. I'm going in with white frosting and adding some more right here. This is where I'm gonna add some more white candies and wait for it, not only white candies. I'm also gonna add red candies to his hat. Lots of chocolate going into this cookie. And I'm going to decorate the pom-pom with these beautiful white snowflakes. Looks like our Santa, inspired by the Santa Claus movie, is all finished looking absolutely delicious. It is not only covered by frosting and icing, but also by lots of chocolate candies and sprinkles. I'm sure everyone, kids and grown-ups, are super excited for Christmas. This is such a wonderful time of the year beautiful family holiday filled with so many traditions and fun cheerful activities for the entire family. Let me know in the comments below which character shall I transform into this giant gingerbread man cookie next. Don't be Grinch and give me a thumbs up and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!